Hi, this video today is about how you get diagnosed with having early or young onset Parkinson's. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my story and um, for the most part most people with early or young onset Parkinson's which usually is defined as um, being diagnosed with Parkinson's um, or, ha or having Parkinson's under the age of 50 and then there's some agencies that consider that under 40. But um, usually how you get diagnosed, and I'm saying this from a perspective of being in the United States, so you have to remember that. Um, so what they do first or, is test you for a lot of different things and kind of rule <clears throat> any other kind of um, sickness out. So some of the things that I got tested for before they thought I had Parkinson's was like Lyme disease. Um, I got tested for arthritis, but early on, um, and this was like about 20 years before my diagnosis when I started to get sort of some early signs of Parkinson's, they did not send me to a neurologist. When I got really sick like 20 years later, I was sent to a neurologist, and it took about a year before that neurologist diagnosed me with having Parkinson's. The first diagnosis that I had was weakness. And <clears throat> I remember he said that that I had, um, well, he said that he didn't know exactly what was wrong with me, but I was coming to the right doctor and that maybe there would be a point where something would happen as far as something would happen as far as um, my progression and the disease that would tell him exactly what I had. So that was after he did a whole lot of tests. So um, one test that I had was an MRI and I've learned that if you have Parkinson's your brain looks normal on the MRI but they still do the MRI to rule out other diseases. Um, he also was an expert in like um, nerve tests, so he did a couple of nerve tests. I'm not really sure what he was testing for. I think there's a disease called Wilsonson's disease that he was. He did one test on that, but they they just put you through a whole lot of blood tests. But there is no official Parkinson's test, as far as I know, um, right now. <clears throat> so it is a test where they are gonna. Uh, do like a, a, a diagnosis based upon um, what they think, not based upon an actual medical test. So um, some of the things they look at is do you, do you have one of the main things that most Parkinson's people have? And some of those things are tremor, um, being rigid, um, having slowness, of, slowness, I always forget how to say this, slowness of movement, um, and what am I forgetting? Oh, the big one, motion problems. So I definitely didn't have a tremor. Slowness I definitely had. Rigidity, I definitely had that. And then motion, problems with motion, I definitely had that. Right before he diagnosed me, I had problems. I had a lot of motion problems, like I was shuffling my feet. It took, it took a long time to walk and a lot of effort to walk, where a couple years ago it was easy. Um, I was dragging my feet at one point. And then I was having weird problems where, like, I couldn't walk through a door straight. I would, like, come up to the door and I'd sort of have to circle around the door. Um, and then another strange thing is that I couldn't turn properly. I, it was like I couldn't remember how to turn. So I would walk and then I would kind of, like, do that same semi-circle around and I was bumping into things. I couldn't, like if there was a table, 
it took me forever to if I had to walk around that table I just couldn't walk around the table I had to like hold the table and it wasn't because I was weak um, it wasn't because I was weak it was just sort of like I could not initiate the movement around the table um, other things I couldn't I couldn't like get on the floor or get up from the floor and I was in pretty you know, decent shape. I could do that before. Um, I couldn't rise from a chair. I couldn't turn over in bed at all. So, yeah, I definitely had a lot of motion problems. Um, I know that a lot of people don't have as much motion problems when they get diagnosed with early or young onset Parkinson's. But, like I keep saying, I think I've had it like a really, really long time. So he finally diagnosed me when I did come in and say I had problems walking through the doorway. <clears throat> and that's when he said that I have Parkinson's. So I think that's pretty typical as far as like a long waiting period. Um, there are a lot of, you know, a whole lot of other things um, that go along with Parkinson's, but the ones I mentioned are the main ones that they look at before they diagnose you. And, um, yeah, it, it's really hard to be diagnosed until you have those main problems because the problems that we do have that could be a signal are like um, depression, constipation, problems with sleeping. There's a whole list of things, but pretty much when you're younger or, or at any age, the things could be related to anything. Um, I mean, I think even like your primary doctor might not be able to just look at those symptoms and say that you have Parkinson's. It's kind of like impossible at that point because the Parkinson's not really affected you. It's not really till you are really affected by the Parkinson's that most of us tend to come to a doctor <clears throat> and at that time they say like that as much as 60% of the dopamine cells are destroyed um, in the brain. So I just wanted to go through a little bit about my diagnosis and how it went. Um, if you think you have Parkinson's, the best thing you can do regardless of your age is go to a neurologist. Probably you're going to have to go to your primary care first and then, then they will refer you to a neurologist. But pretty much a neurologist is the only one that is an expert in, um, in Parkinson's disease. Um, we also have movement, movement disorders. Wait a minute, let me say that. Movement disorder <laughs> neurologist, and that's a neurologist that specializes in Parkinson's and, and movement. So if you can get one of those, that's great. Um, if you have just a regular neurologist, that's okay. Just make sure that they they do see a lot of Parkinson's patients. I know that in the UK there is some kind of, I don't think it's a Parkinson's test, but they do give you some kind of, um, is it called DAT scan test? Something like that. I'm not really positive what that is, but it's some kind of test that we don't really use in the US. And it seems to be used um, before the diagnosis. There is something else that they do also that I'm going to talk about in the next video, and that's the Cinemat Challenge Test. Okay, so that's it for now. I don't want to make this video too long. If you're also interested, check out my next video, um, which I'll try to link to this video. Bye-bye.